Dr. Larry from Carsa from IARC. Uh, thank you very much, Maya, and uh, also thank many of the people who are here who participated. In fact, it was at our meeting in Slovenia, if you remember, some time ago when this whole APAC got going and uh, during the Slovenian presidency and cancer was put back on the agenda, that Florian, in the workshop you chaired, made this suggestion for schools of screening management. So, well done, Florian, and you see what's happening. And actually, it's very easy for me now because you've already heard what went on uh, in this training. So I, I just try to just quite briefly sort of say a little bit about how it was done, but uh, you've heard already about the results and the conclusions. So the idea was to have an intensive training course for people who are actually very active in planning, uh, implementing or evaluating programs because uh, they're normally at a rather high level and don't really have time for training. So we had to figure out some way um, to, to address training needs without pulling people out of their job for a few months. And uh, those were the main topics that were covered. And it's a pleasure to, uh, to talk to this after Nario has explained a lot about uh, the, the Euromed project because we collaborated very closely on this and uh, we really enjoyed working uh, very closely with Nergo and his colleagues in making this happen. And uh, you see here in the beginning, uh, it was just an idea, so we put together a senior management team, uh, including Maya, and uh, got together and planned the course and developed the curriculum. And uh, uh, what basically we came up with was this idea of uh, two weeks of intensive training, but it was broken down into two modules, again, to make it easier for, for people who are very active uh, to participate. And between the modules that, that were a few months apart, uh, these very practical uh, group work uh, that people could go back to their job but still work on a specific topic, some of the topics you've heard now from Rugilia. And uh, the whole idea behind it was to be very interactive and actually the very selective in the participants so that the people who participated, whether it's faculty or whether it's actually delegates who wanted to learn something, actually they taught each other. And one could see in, in, in the discussion of the presentations and the discussion of the group work where people were very eager to find out, well, how uh, different approaches were applied to solving problems. So um, we really encouraged the faculty not just to come and give the lecture or to, to uh, how do you say, do some coaching or um, be responsible for an exercise, but actually spend a lot of time talking to the delegates, interacting with the delegates, and uh, encouraging this sort of uh, spontaneous peer review. And uh, so, um, uh, again, a key was to be selective in, in, uh, in choosing who could participate. It wasn't that we didn't want people to participate, but it was very clear one would need uh, a certain amount of language skills to be able to interact intensively. It was a very intensive uh, training. Uh, people had to work uh, from morning till evening, so we really had to, to find people who were qualified and dedicated to participate. Um, uh, we put a premium on um, learning from each other about implementation or evaluation, so we looked at people's profiles, we looked at who they were working for, uh, we thought about, is this unit going to be involved or are they actively involved in implementing programs? If not, are they planning them or will they be involved in the future? And um, so we really looked for people who had hands-on uh, uh, on implementation and evaluation of screening. And uh, what came out of it was actually a really an ideal situation where there was one delegate participating uh, per one faculty member. So this was a very, how to say, interactive thing. And you can see here that um, we had a wide representation across the EU. We even had a few new member states, mostly, uh, pardon me, a few old member states, but actually mostly new member states and even neighboring countries uh, who are now uh, candidate countries or, or, or looking to learn from the European policies. And we also had quite a few member states represented in the faculty and uh, also Norway and IARC. So um, there you see some of the faces, uh, uh, the people who managed during the coffee break to take the picture, not quite everyone, but it was a very enthusiastic group. And um, really, the challenges they're explained in this um, excellent book that Jose and his team, uh, together with all the authors, have prepared. So I, I don't need to go into that much detail now, I hope, and I, you've heard again about, a lot about the results. But one of the key challenges was to have a course 
that really would cover the whole spectrum of the major problems in managing, evaluating, and uh, implementing programs so that people would at least have heard, oh, there's something I should know about. And when they go home, they, they already know sort of where to look for problems or where to look for solutions. But at the same time uh, that those, the things we had to talk about needed to be comprehensive, at the same time they had to be relevant. And we had such a huge variation uh, between the different programs. People were at different phases of implementation. Uh, there were different resource levels, which you'll hear a little bit more about, I think, in the next talks. Uh, the organizational approach was always, not always the same. Financing was very variable. And so we had this enormous variability in the people coming and looking for solutions to problems. So it was really a challenge to design a, to design a curriculum which sort of covered everything which is universally applicable, but at the same time was relevant and engaged everyone. And I think we, we did a good job. And one of the reasons we did it was because the people involved were very dedicated and they accepted this idea of being very open about the problems they have and the solutions they found. So it was a real interactive process. And um, again, you, you have in the book all of the details, so I don't think I need to go into the details of the curriculum, but, but just to highlight um, the group work between the two modules, which I think we've heard from Rugilia, many people appreciated, they got a lot out of it. And in module two, when you know, the, the delegates came back and presented what they had figured out was, was the right solution or was a real problem, that's where everyone got very much engaged. And again, you can't read all these things. I, I don't not even thinking you could read all this, but this is just to give you an idea of how intensive the course was. We had, this is the first one week module. You had about 40 separate exercises, lectures, uh, meetings, and every one of them was evaluated. And the scale here is, um, goes from zero down at the bottom, or not applicable to six, so it's actually a seven point scale. And what you see here is that almost all of the individual uh, training uh, elements uh, nine or eight out of ten people gave it a very high rating as, as you know, very good quality, um, helped me understand and uh, uh, helped me to prepare uh, and use the course content. In a few cases, it was three out of four who gave it a high rating. And in the second uh, module, which didn't have quite as many elements because there were more uh, presentations of group work, uh, it was more focused, sort of more practical activities, uh, there the approval rating was even higher. It was in almost every case, nine out of 10 people uh, gave this a very high rating. And that also reflects the interactive character. In the first week we checked, are we missing something? Are we really addressing the key problems? And we used that to, to actually model the, the second week. So I, I really think what we can say in concluding, because I only have 10 minutes, and I haven't heard the bell yet, but <laughs> in concluding, uh, I think you'll hear a little bit more about this from Ati. You've already heard some results and conclusions from the participants. We'll hear a little bit more. But really, I, I think we've shown that you know, for people very active in implementing programs who recognize the need uh, to learn more, to learn how to do it better, um, you, one can have an inter a very intensive course. Um, it, it will be used, and the people who attend uh, will find it to be valuable. And uh, what we also found is that this, this was a constant sort of catalyst for, uh, for promoting and improving the international collaboration. And quite obviously, um, there's still a big need to implement and improve cancer screening in Europe, and we really need to develop this resource. So uh, we're hoping to do this in the future. Thank you.